morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Today, I'm making Ernie a pork stew over some lasagna noodles, and I'm using that leftover, oops, sorry about that. I'm using, golly, just a second, let me get that, let me get that cleared. Okay, I think I got it now. I'm using that leftover pork roast back there. I got me some lasagna noodles cooking here. Just broke me up some lasagna noodles. And I got some carrots. And I've got some celery. No, this is uh, leeks. And I got some celery. And there's my... There's my lasagna noodles. So let me get these lasagna noodles done and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, my noodles are cooked. So here's my meat and I'm going to chop up the meat. And I got my veggies right here. I've already got them chopped up. I got carrots, uh, leeks, some cabbage, some celery. Uh, I think that's it. And so now I'm going to chop up my meat. Okay, I've got my meat chopped up. Um, what this was was a leftover pork roast from last night. It was just plain old pork roast. Uh, salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic. But don't tell Ernie there was garlic in there. So what I want to do today is make a pork stew. Now, we're going to saute these veggies. And I don't really, they're going to cook in the stew, but I just want to get a little bit of color on them. So I've got celery in there, I've got carrots, i got leeks, uh, carrot, uh, what do you see, i got carrots, cabbage, celery, and leeks. So we're going to put a little bit of color on these veggies, and I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I got my vegetables sautéed here. And I figure, oh, I got three, four cups of veggies. Now, what I'm going to add is the last of my turmeric here. I use the water. I'll go ahead and rinse that out some more. I'm going to add a bay leaf. I'm going to add four cups of water. I'm going to add some pepper. So let me see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me go get some more water in here to get the last of my uh, turmeric out. And I'll be right back. Okay, here's the last of my turmeric. Now, turmeric, y'all, this is a dish. I'm calling it pork stew. Now, you know, Ernie, well, because I'm using the pork. You know Ernie's from England, and if I was the good wife, <laughs> I'd be making this with mutton. But I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just I, I can't I can't take lamb or mutton or or sheep meat or none of that. So I'm making it with pork because that's what I got. But now this is not a traditional stew like what the Americans think of as stew because uh, uh, it's juice and not uh, not like a thick gravy kind of sorta. This is a lot like what the uh, English call it. It's a call, a C A W L, which is. And I believe it has to be made with mutton. Uh, it is a stew, but it's got the juice. Instead of having the, the gravy type like what the American stew has, it has this juice type. So it's often called a... That's the name. Call. C-A-W-L. Call. And a call is often called a broth. But I'm not a good wife. I'm just a plain old everyday wife. So I'm making this with leftover pork. 
And uh, so now I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and we'll take it from there. Okay, y'all, it's getting ready to boil. Now, you know, the first time I had this, or something like it, uh, was when I visited my Nana's house way back in the early 60s. She set a bowl of mutton stew in front of me, or but it had it didn't have the the thick juice. It had this thin juice, like a call. She set that in front of me, and I still can close my mind's eye, I close my eyes, and see that bowl of stew sitting in front of me that I just couldn't figure out why it tasted so bad. Well, of course that was because the mutton. I don't eat mutton. But, and like I said, if I was a good wife, I'd be making this with mutton. But we're just making, a, I'm going to call it a pork stew. I know it should have potatoes. It's not supposed to have the turmeric in there, but that's my version. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this. And notice I'm not putting the pork in there now because the pork is cooked. It's nice and tender, y'all. It was good last night. So now I'm going to cover this, turn down the heat, and I'm going to let it simmer till the vegetables are cooked. And I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, time to check my veggies. Get that set off to the side there. Yep. And, well, by the time... I'm going to put my pork in now, and by the time, boy that's getting a little close there, by the time my uh, pork gets heated through, now I'm going to scrape all them goodness things, that, look at all those goodies there in the bottom of that pan that I roasted that pork in, I'm going to, I'm going to scrape all that up. By the time the pork is heated through, those uh, carrots should be done, so hold on. Okay, y'all, I got the good bits out of the bottom of that pan there. I got them in here, and I got this good and stirred up. So now I'm going to put the lid back on it, and I'm going to say, oh, about 10 minutes, and this should be ready to serve. Okay, y'all, it's time to eat. Let me get that out of there. Now... Here's them lasagna noodles. Y'all, I know there are people all over Great Britain and probably some in, in, in United States saying, what in the world is that woman doing? That dish is a call, and she's putting it over lasagna noodles. Well, now, Ernie, what do you call a person from, uh, uh, okay, limeys are English. Jocks are Scottish. Hmm. Uh, what do you call a person from Wales? Are they... They're... they're what? Tuff. A tap. 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 What do you call someone from Ireland? Patty. A patty. Okay. Well, I bet there are patties, tats, jocks, and limeys all over the world just thinking, good Lord, what has that woman done to our dish? But here we go, y'all. I'm calling it my call. And Arnie, go get you a spoon. Go get you a spoon, honey. So here we go. And y'all, I'm using lasagna noodles because I don't have no rice. Uh, traditionally, this is not over any kind of noodles or rice or anything. But I know that's what Ernie likes. And... I may not be a good wife and use mutton, but by golly, I am going to be a good wife and give him what he wants there with as far as noodles and stuff like that goes. So let me get this all done up. So just a second, y'all, and we'll have Ernie do his official taste test on my version of this pork stew. Okay, y'all, we're ready here. I got Ernie served up. And let me get that uh, uh, bay leaf. You know, when I was a kid, uh, we used to joke that the person who got the bay leaf was the winner. 
And so I always like getting the bay leaf. So Ernie, go ahead and give that a taste test and see what you think. Uh, I'm more interested in you tasting the broth than uh, anything else. Here, get, get in here close. So y'all, now remember, this is not a traditional call. It's a pork stew, pork soup, uh, uh, I don't know, what, you, whatever, Ernie, taste that broth. You ain't tasted the broth yet. Here, get down in there and get that, get down in there and get that broth. Tell me what you think. So what do you think? All right. All right? Just all right. All right or good? Good. Good? Are you sure? Okay, so there you go, y'all. And don't roll your eyes at me. Ernie likes it, and that's all that's important. So, thanks for watching. And subscribe if you want to. And give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down or whatever. Just make a comment. Let us know you're around. Thanks for watching. Bye.